Hey everyone, JC here, Sunday afternoon, January 31st. We have a decent amount to talk about, but first let's look at the current state of El Nino. Now this map represents sea surface temperature anomalies, SSTA. What it shows me is that the eastern regions, one and two, are breaking down. And in the 1998 strong El Nino that we had, the sea surface temperature anomalies were very strong in the east region here. The reason why this is important is because the greatest anomalies also reflect the greatest tropical forcing, which tends to throw higher heights in this direction. So in 98, when you had all the warmest water in the eastern region, it was throwing the, the higher heights right up to the coast, kept the, most of the winter warm. This El Nino that we're in, the greatest anomalies are western central western which means the greatest tropical forcing is throwing higher heights into the western u.s it's giving us that ridge that positive pacific north american pna and that's resulting in a trough downstream for the east u.s and that's why we've been cold since january 1st that's why we've been able to have the storm that we did last uh, weekend and that's why this pattern is going to remain through february in my opinion now, through this Wednesday, we're going to be very mild, and that's because we have a Great Lakes cutter system coming through, and it's going to be drawing up warmth ahead of it from the south. So let's look at, at the upper levels real quick. Here's our system coming, coming through off the Pacific Ocean. As that moves, it's going to separate into two uh, areas of upper level energy. Here's a closed off low. That's going to head through the Great Lakes and into Canada. It's going to bring snowfall to western Kansas, Nebraska, and other areas of the northern Midwest U.S. And the energy that gets uh, left behind is going to come through on Friday, which we'll talk about in, in a little bit. But for now, let's look at the surface through Wednesday. There's the system. Watch it track through the lakes. There's the snowstorm. Now, for us, this is going to be warm rain possibly even some thunderstorms. So I'm going to be tracking the thunderstorm activity for Wednesday afternoon, Wednesday evening. Could be some exciting times. Once that's through, the front's going to stall right off the east coast. And the energy is, here's the energy that was left behind at the surface. That's going to want to ride up that stalled frontal boundary. And it gets to the point here where that's pretty close and you have snowfall on the northwest side of it. So what I'm watching for this coming Friday, February 5th, is a surprise coastal graze of snowfall. Might remain out to sea, but if there's any, any little bit of westward trend to that, and, and that's what we're going to see on Friday. So that, that's, that's one period that I'm looking at. At 500, remember, this is the energy that was left behind. It moves across and then up. Now, yes, this is higher height, so... It's a, it's a little warmer than you'd like it to be, but there's our wave right off, off the coast. So the upper level setup is there. There is a surface low that's there, so we'll see. Moving forward, February 7th and February 10th are both storm signals, in my opinion. Now, I think the GFS is having a little bit of trouble handling this at the surface. It wants to bring... There's the February 7th system. We got a 998 on the benchmark, so that's like a rain to snow scenario for Jersey. Nothing major. The February 9th and 10th is, is more of a signal to me because it just looks better at the upper levels. So two rain to snow situations, possible situations. I think it's going to consolidate into a single bigger event, but I'm definitely going to be looking at that February 9th, 10th period as the, the most major potential. I'm going to be looking at this coming Friday as a potential for that coastal snowfall graze. And I'm in the immediate uh, interim, I'll be looking at the Wednesday setup for thunderstorms and warm rain. So I'm Jonathan Carr. This is WeatherNJ. Have a great rest of your Sunday evening. Be safe.